Hello folks, so I have an old question with me. It was asked by somebody, by somebody in uh, YouTube itself uh, when he or she commented on uh, another video. So this is of uh, uh, 2009, October, November, paper 4-1 and the question number is 7. The question is concerned with uh, the chapter AC, alternating current. It says a sinusoidal alternating voltage is to be rectified, of course. Suggest one advantage of full wave rectification as compared with half wave rectification. So, in half wave rectification, we have got current like this. Uh, current is available for only half of the uh, cycle and uh, zero for the next. And in full wave, we have current like this, like this, like this, like this, like this. So, we have a current available for full cycle. So, that's why the average current itself will increase. And this increases uh, greater power transformation out of uh, the same input device uh, we are having greater power dis power uh, transformation to the to the uh, to the um, device so one advantage is this um, there could be also another advantage for example it will give a less ripple factor so if uh, the current decreases like this it will decrease just this much this much this much so this ripple factor is less here this ripple factor is more here so number b the rectification is produced using the circuit of figure 7.1 so it's a bridge rectifier full wave re bridge rectifier all the diodes may be considered to be ideal so that means that uh, here uh, when they are conducting when they are conducting the resistance is zero and when they they when they are not conducting the resistance will be infinite that is what it tries to say now uh, the variation with time t of the already voltage applied to the circuit is shown in figure uh, so this is the version of voltages both are same figure same figure it uh, carries the voltage provided by the source like this because they are for two different questions so let us see the question here questions here ah yes on the axis of 7.2 draw a graph to show the variation with the time t of the potential difference across diode a so what it says is we have got to uh, diode a here diode a here we have a diode A here, like this. So on uh, figure this thing, on this figure, on this figure, I have to draw a graph to show the variation of, of the PD across A. PD across A. So here I have to draw the graph of the voltage variation across this A. This A. So, so for that I have to use pencil because I need to rub things for next case as well. So let us say initially, uh, this is... Uh, plus so plus so this voltage is plus in the beginning plus and this is minus plus minus at the time it is plus and it is uh, minus so since uh, this plus in connection with the p side here and uh, this negative uh, this will act as a zero as you all know act as zero this zero will be negative for plus and uh, positive for this minus this zero will be uh, for this minus it will be plus and this plus it will be minus because it is zero is somewhat in the middle zero is always uh, more than minus and it is less than plus so it acts differently for plus and minus so because of that uh, here we have p side here p side positive inside negative a will conduct at that time and uh, uh, n side with positive p side negative, so b will not conduct so this conduct means that it's r equal to zero and doesn't conduct means that r is equal to equal infinity at that time at the time means when this is positive when this is positive and this is negative so it's the same case here so when this voltage is positive here voltage is positive what is happening is um, this a is not uh, this a is uh, is having zero resistance so current conducts here current conducts and there will be no pd across this a there will be no across this uh, uh, this uh, uh, diode A. So that's why the PD across here will be 0. Current is there, but R is not there. So that's why the PD across this thing will be equal to 0. So this has to be drawn in figure, 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 7 by 2. So PD across diode A. So it will be 0, 0, 0 like this. 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 like this. Like this. At the same time, in B, B means I have to draw in the second figure here. Yeah? Second figure is somewhere uh, somewhere down. 
so let me do it like this let me let me let me fold it like this it will make it a little better it can adjust here i suppose uh, with this folding okay i fold it and i think now it can adjust well here yeah yes so at the same time i have to draw the graph for, for b as well so here b uh, r is equal to infinity so that's why whole of this pd will appear across it whole of this point difference will appear across it so that's why in for the case of for this b b whole of pd will be across uh, this thing so 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 what we, we should have is uh, this is plus plus and this is minus minus so here it will be minus terminal plus terminal so the pd should be should be should be should be in this b here the pd should be like this should be uh, so, so here for b it is uh, the same copy here the pd is there yes now after some time what happens is all the things change so this whole thing changes this whole thing changes and all others will also change so i have to rub them i have to rub all of these things this is not uh, rubbing well but i have to so what happens now here is when this is plus and this is minus see minus minus here now in this case it will be minus and it will be plus so uh, this is zero and this will be plus and uh, minus it is zero this is plus and uh, minus so 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 this will not conduct because it is p side with a negative positive this doesn't conduct this doesn't conduct and if I can be it is uh, negative n side positive p side it will conduct it will conduct so r equal to infinity and r is equal to zero so if you look at a now what is happening right now is the voltage uh, r equal to infinity means that all the voltage will appear across it all the voltage across it so that's why the voltage this thing will be available there somewhat like this so this thing will be available there somewhat like this like this but here it is zero so that's a zero means uh, no voltage will be here all the voltage has gone across here so it will be like this like this so same thing repeats then uh, what happens is it will be like this it will be again rising like this then again it is like this like this like this yes so i can do it like this then like this and like this so one thing that we have to remember is when we add these two when you add these two it becomes the full voltage like this it's a full voltage so uh, that's the beauty of this problem now number C on figure 7.1 draw the symbol for a capacitor uh, connected into the circuit so as to provide smoothing so we have to connect our capacitor so the capacitor should be connected uh, parallel to this resistor so it could be like this so it could be like this or it could be even like this if you even like you can draw like this you can draw like this as well or it could be it could be so this parallel means this parallel so it could be even like this it could be even like this so you can draw any one of them not all of them but you can draw any one of them any one of them so I'll I'll uh, focus myself on this okay so in number two uh, figure 7.4 shows the variation with time t of the smoothed potential difference uh, difference across the resistor in figure 7.1 so the pd here has been uh, shown in the oscilloscope something like that like this state uh, how the amount of smoothing may be increased so we want to increase the amount of smoothing which means that we want to decrease this this so that can be done by uh, uh, that can be done by increasing the value of the capacitance so if uh, capacitance is, is increased what happens is it's uh, 
decay time or the time constant will increase that means the time it takes to decay will be long time so that's why what we can happen is uh, <coughs> it will happen somewhat like this somewhat somewhat like this somewhat like this and so on so this is decreased so we have to add a, uh, we have to increase the value of capacitance on function by for draw the variation with time t of the pt across uh, for increase smoothing so if smoothing is increased what will be the uh, variation of the graph so it will be like this from, from the top it will decrease but not much from the top it will decrease but not much from the top it will decrease but not much but not much and so on and here also it will be somewhat like this so from here slightly it rises like this it rises like this like this and so on so but one thing that we have to remember is it should be somewhat like this like this it should be somewhat like this it's not like, like this like no this this is not correct it should be it rises and then drops smoothly rises and drops smoothly like this so that is the pattern how uh, this thing will vary so that's the answer to this question